What is up, guys? Glasses 2014 here, and welcome. I've changed my skin. It is now a gigantic Steve. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Hi. It's me, Steve. Got uh, Steve 2014. I can also do this with a couple other mob heads. I can do a skeleton, wither skeleton, zombie. Uh, keep my Steve head, and then a creeper. Look at this. It's actually quite funny. We have a creeper. Me as a creeper. Looks pretty sexy. Gotta say. Uh, I already did Steve. Me as a skeleton. Mmm. I think I was sexier when I was, when I was alive. A zombie, which I think looks the best. Nah, eh, actually Steve looks the best. I'll keep that on for the review. And what is called? So... I don't know why I did that little intro, but I'm keeping my Steve head on. Welcome to a new video. And today, oh, there's my, the, as I'm on a server. And this is the, you guys remember a couple of videos ago I made this? Um, and, uh, yeah, moving over there. Still works? Yep, still works. Alright, enough dealing young. Let's get on to the part that I have been waiting that I've been doing, uh, that I made this video for. Now, this is gonna be a little video on things I believe should belong into Minecraft. Now, in front of me, what do we got here? We got what looks like crafting recipes for armor. This idea was actually made by my friend Connor. He added in the whole point of redstone armor and how it could do something that I'm coming up with. Or uh, something that I'm gonna say later. Thanks to him for inspiring this video. So yeah, so no crafting recipes. Something I actually thought of was maybe having this be redstone blocks, and then it won't be overpowered. <laughs> redstone blocks to create the armor. I don't know. Just thought. And uh, yeah, so let's get on with it. So this is redstone armor, and uh, here's a book explaining what it does. So redstone armor. Uh, the helmet is one armor bar, the chest plate is two armor bars, the leggings is one and a half armor bars, and the boots are one and a half, are half an armor bar. And then when you walk on redstone, it powers it. So, let me just give you an example right, right here. Let's say there's a bunch of random redstone right here. It looks like a thing. Yeah, that's totally a thing. And uh, let's say this redstone torch was you. So if you were to walk right here, it would power all the redstone. Alright, that's how it works. And uh, yeah, that's the video. Sorry, no, that's the redstone armor idea. Thanks, Connor, for thinking about it. Next up, since I'm on a server, I can't actually do this. But we're going to go swimming. I can't add in the squids, which is what I'm going to talk about. Now, I have a diamond sword here. A potion of slowness. Uh, I have the redstone armor thing right here. Let's move everything to the top layer. There we go. Um, next up, Squid OP. Now, Squid Attack. Ink sacks are two. E I just realized I wrote that as a number two. Ink sacks are too easy to get. Make it so that squids shoot out, shoot ink at you. It, it will give you slowness and blindness. Although I couldn't find the blindness potion. <clears throat> so. I just went with slowness, but blindness as well, like an ink sack coming out of your face. I even looked it up in here, blind. Yeah, nothing here, even in the B. Yeah, nothing here. Wait. Yeah, water breathing, invisibility, and jump boost. See? Nothing. But, that would be a cool addition to the game. If squids will attack you, and it would be harder to get ink sacks. And, I don't know, they might do damage. Now, in case you're wondering, no, we cannot go to the end. We can just sit here and be like, oh, cool, I'm in a sky. But this does have to do with the end. Next up is the endy, and then we got the ender killer. So, let's read endy. So, endermen. You know en endermen carry blocks? You should be able to have the blocks drop, or have a chance to drop. Now, remember, I made this really quickly so it's probably a lot of spelling errors but if you have the this sword has looting on it so if you kill an enderman with looting or with any sword or 
thing. And it should have a chance to drop the block. Let's say he picks up a grass block. It should have a chance to drop the grass block. Sand block, same thing. A beacon block. You're not allowed to break any blocks on a server. You somehow get an enderman over to a friend's base. You have it pick up the beacon that they have, and then you kill it, and you get the beacon. There you go. You got a free beacon. And it sucks to be the other guy. <laughs> so there I go, and I'm going to kill some, you know, enders, men, and the ender dragons, and the endermites with the sword, because, you know, it's the ender killer. Wait a second, I have a question, right? <gasps> this is the server's 1.8, cool. <laughs> Last up, the swamp. Now, I had this idea for a long time, and make sure you subscribe. Because books tell you to, and books are never wrong. Alright, my mom's a teacher. Trust me, books are never wrong. Frogs. You know bats, how they don't attack, breed, have drops for XP? Make frogs the same way. A mom that spawns in swamps and does nothing but look cool. That is my idea for a swamp mob a frog. It hops around on lily pads during swamps, maybe even in covered forests. I don't know, but some kind of way for frogs to be in the game and just do nothing. Just hop around, <laughs> you know? That'd be kind of cool. Just be in the swamp, be like, oh, hey, look, a frog. Cool. Just like we're in caves and we're like, ooh, look, a bat. Cool. You know, it's the same thing. Well, guys, I'm going to go back to my little entrance area. I just, I just, there, and then, banana, 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 oh, <laughs> well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, um, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, um, uh, this, this, uh, uh, there I go, actually, hope you guys enjoyed this video, of Minecraft things you can or they will hopefully add into Minecraft. I'll see you guys next time for some more and goodbye and make sure you subscribe because books tell you to. Goodbye.